tax and a lot of earnings that have been coming in. Uh, next up is Punjab and Sin Bank. They posted a 70 crore loss in the quarter due to a tax expense of a little over 10 crores as opposed to a tax right back of about 74, 75 odd crores in a year on year basis. Despite that, asset quality this time around has been stable. To the same of Sin the same deal of Punjab and Sin Bank now joins in on the line to detail the earnings a little bit more. Mr. Sin, thanks very much for joining in, sir. Uh, so, sir, could you tell us what your net interest margins have stood at this quarter and as well as the comparable figure? Um, our uh, this, uh, net interest margin for uh, uh, this uh, uh, current uh, the year 14, uh, 15 has been 1.8 and uh, in the 13, 14 it was 1.88. Okay. Uh, so this time around, the asset quality has remained stable, so growth NPAs have actually gone down to below the 5% mark, and even on the net NPA side, it's just at 3.5% now. Do you have uh, much more room to improve your asset quality from here? Uh, in fact, uh, we are gentlemen time for uh, banks, and uh, as you may have noticed, that we have uh, posted the uh, profits uh, of uh, 100 uh, uh, 21 uh, crore and uh, uh, the strategy for because the, uh, this last previous year has been quite challenging for all of us. So NPA and then uh, restructuring in the last quarter uh, was uh, responsible for 47 crore of our uh, uh, this uh, NPAs, the addition to our NPAs in the last quarter and uh, this was due to uh, restructuring. Uh, so that was a major provision uh, in our profits. Uh, we had to make provisions. Uh, and uh, then uh, in the last year, uh, in spite of uh, this uh, dip in the credit of days, we have been able to register an increase of 12% in the advances. And uh, that is uh, something that is set to us. But uh, the strategy for the new year is for the current financial year is to focus on uh, current and saving uh, accounts and uh, combined with retail lending. And we are also optimistic that uh, the economy will uh, pick up and uh, this is our optimism and the uh, whole uh, banking industry will uh, bounce back. Mr. Gary, so, um, um, you know, uh, could you tell us what the slippages were in this quarter as well as the total restructured amount? Uh, total uh, restructured amount uh, was uh, 1,000 and uh, 108 crore. Uh, that was in the first quarter only. Yeah. 1,108 crore. Uh, uh, the test testing was uh, uh, 2,437, uh, 2,437 crore. Was the first restructuring year. in the year? Uh, that was the year, and in the uh, fourth quarter it was uh, 1,100 and, and uh, 74. Okay. And what about uh, the fresh temperatures, sir? Uh, so this is the fourth quarter account, huh? Restructuring of the yeah, yeah. fourth quarter yes. So what about the temperatures? Uh, temperatures uh, would be in the uh, this uh, 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 the uh, can you give me this? Uh, so we come back to that in a bit. Uh, could you tell us where you're exactly? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the uh, fourteen uh, evening, uh, it was twelve hundred forty-two crore. And uh, in the previous year, it was 1620. So there is a uh, uh, dip in that. Okay. Variance is about uh, 378 crore. So where are you seeing the maximum amount of stress now? Is it uh, uh, in a sector specific or have there been any uh, big lumpy accounts? So those details we are working out. So, but uh, that is a big picture which uh, uh, I have just intimated to you. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, the NIR or the net interest income growth seems to be quite noted in Q4, which is at 1.8%. Even for the full year, you know, the net interest income growth was only about 3.5%. Uh, will the company, will the bank be cautious in lending even in SI16? What can you expect by VFE NII growth? Uh, 
considering merging with a few U.S. You know, state-run banks, and you know, there's a that also included Punjab and Sindh Bank as one of the possible you know banks which could be merged into a larger bank. Do you know some of the reports we're doing a few months back? I have no plan from that. So that is a, I have nothing to say on that. We have brought in order to improve the financials of the bank, and uh, there our focus is, as I mentioned, in the current financial year is on. Uh, attracting low cost deposits and focusing on uh, retail lending. Okay. And one final question, um, you know, your growth NPAs have improved in Q4 compared to Q3, but you know, on a year-year basis, the growth NPAs are worsened from 4.41 to 4.74%. Um, do, do you believe the growth is over in terms of asset quality? Can your growth NPAs improve? Yes, I, I think so. I think so. I would uh, uh, tend to believe that uh, as the the economy uh, gets back to buoyancy, we will be able to arrest or extend the stability as well as reduce uh, the quantum market in place. All right, Mr. Singh, we'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in. So some more details from Punjab and Sindh Bank in terms of, uh, you know, how the asset quality is.